sorry, we are gaining still momentum. And the good thing is our net sales growth is broad based. We are growing by a, or both brands, Boss and Hugo. We are actually growing double digit in every region and we are growing double digit in all the different channels. So we are really very, very happy with the results that we are taking. So it's very likely we increase our guidance like you were saying, uh, it's very likely that we will achieve 4 billion euro already this year. This is two years earlier than we originally expected. And by the way, we increased our guidance for the profitability as well. We want to achieve a, an improvement between 10 and 20%. So we want to improve our operating margin as well already this year. And um, by the way, uh, we will reassess our midterm guidance. Uh, we will host a capital market day here in our headquarters in Metzingen on the 14th and 15th of June in order to have a kind of a discussion around our financial ambition 2025. Let's talk a little bit more about what's working for Hugo Boss then, because it's not an easy market to execute in. We have seen some softening in the consumer. We're not talking about the ultra high end luxury market here with your brand even though it's considered luxury. So what exactly is different, uh, the gear shift you've had around the type of product offering, just to how you're getting up close to that customer in terms of the, uh, the details that you've now got on databases and how you're executing on product. You know, what's the, the secret sauce here for Hugo Boss? So we are really investing into the brand, into both brands, Boss and Hugo. We had a tremendously good a campaign for boss. Bosses are not born, bosses are made. We were hosting a fashion event back in Miami, especially in the very strong US market. So actually we tried to establish boss and Hugo as a 24 seven lifestyle brand. And this is working very, very good. On top of this, we are investing into the product. We have a very, very good price value proposition with our products. And we are positioned in the premium affordable luxury market. The ultra luxuries are getting more and more expensive. So I think we have a very decent playground in our premium affordable luxury pricing position. And that's where we can grow our business. And actually, so far, we are very happy. And on top of this, we are investing into the store concept. We are investing into, we have digital investments. So a lot of things happened with, uh, with the execution of our Claim 5 strategy. And we are really on track and we are still gaining traction. And we don't see so far any slowdown uh, in consumer demand and consumer sentiment.